Hello everyone, it's Carol Garrison with Carol's Creative Escape. Just starting about a minute early to make sure that I can get all of my connections in place before my actual live event starts at 7.30. And it looks like it is working. Usually I have to struggle the first few times trying to get this through. So of course the time that I start early is also the time that it works for me perfectly the first time. So I'm going to wait a minute or two um, to make sure that everybody has a chance to get started on the video. I've got my, um, my iPad set up so I should be able to see comments and if you are here watching, please be sure to say hello and um, let me know that you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. That would be great. I've got a real pretty card to show you that's going to be great for picking up and using your um, card scraps, especially the designer series paper scraps. So I want to just go... All right, April, hey, you're there. I always like it when somebody lets me know they're watching just so that I know it's hitting out there. So today we are going to be making a card that's focusing really on our designer series paper. You know, I've had a couple of cards where I've really tried to push using designer series paper because it's so easy for us to hoard that and not use it um, for fear we're going to run out or something, which is silly because we can always order more. But I do want to share this with you because it is a very easy card and it's a great one in terms of setting up uh, the ability to use up some of your smaller scraps as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I do need to make one apology. I found this card online and I actually prepared for some of this ahead of time and thought I had written down this person's name and I cannot find it. So if anybody knows... Who created this card if you could in the comments let me know that I would greatly appreciate it in the meantime I'm going to keep looking so that I can give credit where credit is due for this layout um, this is not my creation but it is one that I found online and I just loved how it showed off all of our different designer paper as well as a great way for us to use scraps so I'm going to show you a couple of examples that I made to start with just so that you have an idea of what we're working with. The first one, I am using the Well-Suited Designer Series Paper, which is in the January to June catalog, the mini catalog. And this greeting that I'm using is from the Mini, Mes mini Happening stamp set, which is a new stamp set that is in the annual catalog that just came out. And it coordinates very nicely with the Mini Messages stamp set, as well as the die that was in the January to June mini catalog. You can use the same die and punch out the same number of greetings using that die. They're just a, a whole different collection of greetings. So I was so happy when they, they came out with that. So in this card, like I said, I'm featuring the uh, well-suited designer series paper, Pacific Point, basic white, and Poppy Parade cardstock. Just says you did it. Kind of a graduation card, a, a masculine. I did not decorate the inside of the card. So there's one example. I also did it up in a black and white example with no greeting on the front side. And this is the True Love Designer Series paper, which is still available in the January to June mini catalog. And I really like the look of black and white with the pinks and the, the real red colors and things like that. So I wanted to create just a, a card using those colors with with no other real coloring on it and then inside I've just got little card big thanks and that greeting is from the hand petals stamp set um, no I lied it is not the hand petals um do 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 nope it is the I'll put it in my comments anyhow Little card, big thanks. Just using the black and white paper with a little bit of color from the cardstock on that. So that is one example. And then I moved into using paper out of the new annual catalog. So these weren't scraps. I actually cut my paper up to create this. 
And this is from the card designer series paper called Beauty of the Earth. And this is a 12 by 12 paper. It contains two sheets each of double-sided designs. And these are the images or the designs that you can get on the paper. Let me bring this in just a little closer if I can so that you can see it better. There we go. Hi Sue, how are you? So this is just, it's really pretty paper. It's kind of hard to use this one for me right now because it's fall colors and winter colors. And I feel like we've been waiting for summer to show up so soon. Um, but it, it is a, a really pretty paper which can, uh, coordinates with the stamp set and some dies in the catalog as well. What I like about this one too is all of the different colors that coordinate with it. Um, just really pretty rich tones. So Beauty of the Earth Designer Series Paper. And this is the card that I created using that paper. Exact same layout, same measurements, um, but pulling in all of those gorgeous colors. And I used the I'm So Happy to Celebrate These Moments with You. And that is from the Mini Messages stamp set from the mini catalog. Again, just white on the inside. So the card that we're going to work on today is going to utilize a couple of new products that I have fallen in love with. Um, the first is this Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. I have not actually bought the stamp sets or the dies for this yet. Um, they're on my list. But I had a lot of other things that I wanted to get too, so I, I did not purchase those yet. But I wanted to share with you um, this bright and springy paper. I love the back sides, especially the fact that we've got some gingham back again. And um, these three colors together look so pretty as well. So again, a lot of different colors going from some deep rich tones to, to more of the pastel phone tones. And it does include actually all five of the new ink colors are represented in this packet as well of, of designer series paper. So this is the Pansy Petals designer series paper and that's what we're going to be using along with the polished pink cardstock and ribbon. So let's go ahead and get started. We can review our measurements. We are working with cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. You'll just want to take your bone folder and get a good crease on that. And then we have a piece of basic white cardstock, which measures three and three quarters by four and three quarters. I want to make sure I'm on camera here too. It looks like I'm off just a little bit, so I'll raise things up. And then, um, in fact, Hey Linda, how are you? Hope you had fun on your most recent trip. You've gotten to do a little bit of traveling lately. All right, I'm gonna shrink it down. There we go, I think that'll help a little bit. Okay, so our basic white measures three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I have a piece of the soft succulent cardstock, which is another one of the new in colors. And that measures three and a half by four and a half inches. And then I have a bunch of pieces of designer series paper that I have cut and I'm hoping that I can remember which sides I was going to use as I put this together. That one was going to go like that and like that and like that I believe. Okay so here are my pieces of cardstock. These pieces all measure one inch in the width and you need two pieces that are one inch by one and a half inch and one piece that is one by one inch. And then on this side, these are all two inches in width and it's half inch by two inches, two inches by one and a half inches, two inches by three quarters inches and two inches by one inch. And the whole point of this card is to show off as much of this designer series paper as you can. So as long as the colors all coordinate, um, don't be afraid to, to bring them all together. 
Now with this particular card, I am not actually a big user of our multi-liquid glue, but I found it was easier when I was adhering these pieces to use this um, because it gave me the ability to, to wiggle them around just a little bit. And it also allowed me to get some smaller size pieces, which sometimes the tape runners can be a little bit harder to get with that. So to start with the assembly, I'm going to set my polished pink aside and I am going to use my stamp. What is it? The stamp. I never get this name right. The um, stamp and seal. And this is one that if you don't do the check mark right at the end, it kind of gets fussy about running so make sure you're using a check mark move I'm getting more on my fingers right now and you're just going to center that on your basic white card stock and then to start attaching these pieces what I found was easier for me was to start by laying all these pieces out so that I had a good idea of the spacing of it. Um, it just it just worked better for me. It should be asking, how's everybody doing? Did you get a chance to enjoy this weather that we had this past weekend here in Minnesota? It was very beautiful. Uh, a couple days hit the 80s. I was able to get outside, get my gardens planted. I didn't have any flowers last year um, for a variety of reasons. And this year I was able to get my flowers in the ground. Um, so I'm going to have flowers in my garden. I've got pretty flowers out front. I'm just excited to see what happens with that. I'm also trying something new this year and growing a few herbs, um, particularly a couple different varieties of basil along with some dill and some oregano so we'll see how that goes so then what I'm going to do is just take my liquid glue and I do like to glue on just a silicone mat or a piece of material that the glue isn't necessarily going to stick to and it does not take a lot of this so once you get it going whoops you can kind of just spread it around a little bit and then I just start to place the pieces basically where I left them once I had my layout in place. And like I said, if it's not quite straight, you can wiggle it around just a little bit and get it to adhere. You want to avoid going cl too close to the edges because it will squish out um, as you start moving it around. I think I want to have my things going up and down, my lines. So I'll put that one there. I think this paper is so pretty and just because pansies can be an early flower that we can plant up here because um, it's hardy enough to handle some of the cooler temps, it's a very warm and welcoming paper and again I'm so happy that this gingham design has come back for us with this paper. I tend to make a mess when I use liquid glue which is one of the reasons I don't use it very often so I am being cautious on how much I put on trying to keep it from spreading all over everything that I've got. but I do like it for being able to line things up and kind of move them around till I have it where I want it, which is not a feature that the seal will always give you. But you can tell I'm not putting a lot of adhesive on the back of this, a lot of the glue, just a little dab, kind of spreading it out once I get it to start coming out. and. Um, that is all I'm doing with it. I 
one of the other things I really like with this paper is just the number of colors that go with it. I think it makes it a much more versatile designer series paper when we can work with so many different colors. It is basic white. Oops, looks like I need to move my yellow one down just a little bit. And that has already set, so I'm not going to move it for risk of tearing my paper. But what I am going to do is just change where I put my greeting. I was going to put it up here. Instead, I'm going to put it down here, and nobody will know that that is a little bit wider. All right, then I am going to attach this to my card front, and I will use my seal for that. It always takes me a few runs with this to get the check mark right each time I use it. I think I found my rhythm. And then this just gets centered on my card front. And as long as I've got the inside open, I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of cardstock on the inside. I always like to finish the inside of my cards off with a layer of cardstock. Um, it just makes it, I think, a little easier to write and to be able to read what has been written. And it adds a little more stability to the card. All right, and then I've already pre-stamped my image, and I'm using the Hello Greeting from this new stamp set in the annual catalog. It's artistically inked. I demonstrated this real quickly on Thursday night last week when I was showing you some of the new products that I purchased in that video. Um, I've still got a couple of the stamped images that I can share with you too. This is a watercolor look, kind of the alcohol ink look, which is really big right now. But I want to show you the depth that it exists in these stamped images. So this right here is this stamp. So you can see there's probably three or four different shades of the polished pink once you're done stamping it. This image is this one. And again, it's not quite as layered in the different tones as this is, but it gives you a very nice image with that. And I really love how this rose that comes from this stamp turns out to um, a lot of shading and tones show up in that one as well. So. This is definitely a go-to stamp of mine, and the greetings are very good, too. I love the big curse of thanks on there. Um, but I chose to just use the hello greeting. You're going to be seeing more of this stamp set along with the paper in future videos. And I stamped the hello greeting. I used my, you know, and I just did some prep work for my Thursday night video and used that punch, and now I'm not recalling what the punch name is but I will get it because I have my catalog right here it is the label me fancy and I use the hello with the polished pink ink which again this pink ink is probably gonna be one of my favorites then I've just got it um, prettied up with a few of the rhinestones and I'm popping this up on dimensionals, and this side is a little wider, so I want to cover that up with my greeting. So I'm going to do that. And then I did take the new ribbon, and this comes in all of the in colors. This is the polished, polished pink ribbon, and it is the, it's called Open Weave Ribbon. And it comes in all of the ink colors. It is 3 8 inches wide. And unlike some of the other sheer ribbons, this almost has a metallic -y feel to it. Um, it's a little stiffer, I think, than some of the sheer ribbon we've had in the past. And it's got just a little bit of sparkle in it. So I've made a bow. And I'm just going to attach that with a mini glue dot. Or two and I'm just gonna attach that kind of in the corner of my greeting because I don't want to totally cover it up 
and that would finish off this card. So again, it's a very simple card. It is a great way to use up your card scraps. Um, it's a great way to show off a variety of the designer series paper, both the front and the back sides of it. So here are again the two new papers, the Pansy Petals, as well as the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. You'll find these in the new annual catalog that came out. Uh, background on this one is Misty Midnight, Misty Moonlight, and Mossy Meadow for the, the, the green tone that you're seeing here. And then using some of the papers that are still available in the mini catalog, I've got two more examples, kind of the male version. This one I think actually could go either way as well. Um, male version, no greeting added on the front at all, just focusing on the beauty of the black and white designer paper. And I think of the four cards, this one is almost my favorite, although I like the springiness of this one as well. So I hope you get a chance to make this card. Oh, thanks, April. And if you do, if you could please post it in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, would love to know what you think about this video. And if you know of others that may be interested in it, please feel free to share it with them. And I will see you next Monday for the Make It Monday. I hope you all have a good week. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.